Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Of course, you already know my sisters. We have a special little guest here today. Luna, that's her dog right here. Uh, we just finished watching King Richard. Richard. Oh, with my words this week. We just saw King Richard, as you can see. I don't know if it's still up on the screen. Um, now, I know normally we do it after the theater, but we were actually on our way to the theater to see this movie. And I should remember that it's actually on HBO Max. I totally forgot about it. So we're like, okay, let's just go and watch it at the house. Much more comfortable. And it's a movie that you really don't need to see in theater, to be honest with you. It's based on a true story. So this is the second true, based on a true story that we've done this week. Yesterday we talked about House of Gucci. But this is about the upbringing or like the training, I guess, of Venus and Serena. Venus and Serena Will. <laughs> Serena Williams. Yes, she can't get it out. It's not really their story. It is more on the father. So King, Ri well, his first name is like King Richard. They never really even called him a king, did they? No, no. I don't know. He's probably him. That seems like something probably he would do. Mm -hmm. um, so it does start um, Will Smith uh, playing the father. And this is uh, Venus and Serena, very young. Uh, in case by any chance that you're not familiar with Venus and Serena, they are sisters who are professional tennis players. But what did you guys think about it? I thought it was gonna be them, both of them actually coming up. I didn't really see or look what this movie was gonna be about. I thought it was gonna be the training of both of them and how, how they rose up. Even though it says King Richard, I just thought it was like the the background story of what the dad saw and like all that of how he was involved in everything but i thought it was going to be more like them in their professional training stuff it's a lot of hair, <laughs> lot of hair. i liked it but it is a movie that you, is better to just watch at home other sister uh i also enjoyed it uh love the inspirational comments and things that the dad would tell them. It's got its moment too that made me cry. Mm -hmm. Well, but then I'm also a crybaby, so. <laughs> but again, I'm like them, I'm glad that we, we watched it at home and at the, at the theater. Yeah, I enjoyed it as well. Um, I was thinking it was gonna revolve more around the girls as well. Uh, but again, it's on the dad. I mean, obviously the girls are a big part of it, but it's like the dad and his ambition and his wanting to better the lives of his daughter and really like pushing them as far as you know he knows the capability and just kind of like being a different type of dad well, as far as uh, a, a, a sports dad um he does talk about how these other parents you know they mistreat and talk bad i mean like they showcase like a lot of these parents like talking to like their little kids you guys like so ugly like you should be doing better and this isn't that it was bad you guys mm -hmm. and he was somebody who wanted them to have their education first because you know it is a sport and, and their children, and their children. And of course being in the sport or industry it's very limited you know you could have a great one year or you know just like uh, you know they're starting off young for all they know you know up until age 18 that could be the end of their career and then what are they going to do with the rest of their lives you know they can't play tennis forever i mean in this case they, they are still playing tennis i think they're still playing tennis aren't they i think so. or if not just endorsements you know, i think they're still playing though i don't follow tennis or anything i just know that they're like big time tennis um players and stuff uh but yeah it <laughs> it is it is a really interesting uh story and I did not cry. I'm also an emotional person. I know I'm emotional as well, but she is more than I am. There was one, one scene that kind of got me a little emotional, but I didn't cry or anything like that. I was just like, oh, well, like, that was good. Like, there's a lot of really, like, good moments. Uh, there's a moment that really, like, pissed me off with, like, this little punk-ass kid. Oh, I was like, he is so freaking disrespectful. This was like a little kid, like not a little kid, like a teenager, maybe in their 20s. I don't know. He was totally disrespecting him, pushing him around, beating him up, you guys. But that really pissed me off. I was just like, oh, the way that it actually happened. Um, and then it kind of like turns around. We won't say kind of like exactly what, but then we have like that protection that goes around them. Uh, once we have that coach coming around. Think about hey hey hey. <laughs> uh, we have uh, John Ber Ber Bernard. Bernard. I don't know how to say his name. Whatever. This guy right here, uh, rocking a killer stash. Now I feel that Will Smith could possibly be in the Oscar race. I think I have heard his name kind of being tossed around here and there. Um, and, I, and he did a really really great job. You only see Venus Serena as like teenagers. 
um of course but at the very end we see where they are now and and all that good stuff where where they've accomplished if in case you're not familiar with them uh fully but it was nice to see you know kind of like the upbringing and, and the morals and and how they were as people or, and possibly how that transits into their adulthood uh but before we do give you um our score of course don't forget to give this video a like Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. I do have a qu quite a few other reviews coming your way. Not with them, you guys. This is the last one for the week uh, with my sisters. I totally forgot. I know I had gave you a little <coughs> Sorry. Uh, rude. Um, I know I gave you an update like two videos ago that I bought some uh, movies that I well some videos that I have coming up. Uh, I'm not gonna do Casa de Papel, you guys. I totally forgot about my Netflix things. Totally. So I have like. Two Netflix reviews, uh, Tick Tick Boom and uh, Princess Switch uh, Part Three. So, what are you, what are you giving it? A medium, 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 medium as well. If you've seen King Richard, uh, let me know down below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Is it something you're planning on watching or skipping? Again, it is on HBO Max for the next uh, 30 days. It is also in theaters. Again, watching it at home, I feel like it's the way to go. I think it's a nice little. Maybe you can wait for like Thanksgiving, whatever. It could be like a nice little family movie to watch because it is a very family-based movie as well. Do you follow tennis? Are you a fan of Venus and Serena, uh, Serena just generally? Let me know down below. All right, guys, that is it from us today. Till next time, see you guys at concessions. Bye. Put your pants. I know. Telling you, she has a lot. Yeah. Look at this, you guys. Hair on my leg. When I burped, I felt a hair. That's why I burped because I'm like, I feel a hair. You feel it right there? Come on, let's take our stuff now.